research integrity can become compromised due to several reasons. The most serious violations of research integrity are fraud, plagiarism, conflicts of interest, and undue influence of the researcher's personal values. All these threats to research integrity concern an abandonment of the basic scientific principles of openness, transparency, and critical and systematic empirical testing. Fraud refers to cases where data were either fabricated or falsified to provide false support for the researcher's hypothesis. Fabrication means the data were never collected, but were made up. Falsification means existing data were illegitimately altered. When data are fabricated or falsified to support a researcher's claims, science is damaged in several ways. First of all, the scientific literature is contaminated with false empirical data. This alone holds back scientific progress. Researchers might pursue a line of research that seems promising, but is in fact baseless. Honest researchers see their projects fail to replicate promising results. They might incorrectly conclude this is due to their personal lack of research skills. The project might be abandoned without the failed replications ever coming to light. Secondly, precious funding resources that could have been spent on valid avenues of research are spent on fraudulent research and related projects that build on it, but are in fact less promising than they seem. Thirdly, once fraud is exposed, the reputation and credibility of the field, including the majority of researchers who do have integrity, is severely damaged. This can result in more difficulty to obtain funding in a general area where fraud has been exposed. This puts honest researchers who have the bad luck to be in a related field at a disadvantage. Fraud cases are invariably accompanied by reluctance or even unwillingness to share data and research information with others. Unless researchers are challenged or even required to be open and transparent, fraud can be tempting in an academic climate where publishing positive confirmatory results is held in high regard. Pre-registration of the research hypothesis and design and documentation of materials, data, and data manipulation form a good way to discourage fraud. If researchers know their procedures, data, and analyses can be checked at any time, the risk of fraud being exposed is much more evident. Unfortunately, guidelines on how to document and pre-register research proposals are not always implemented, and if they are, these guidelines vary greatly between and even within scientific fields. Let's move on to plagiarism. Plagiarism is a different violation of research integrity. Plagiarism means that a substantial scientific contribution is presented as one's own by copying original text, concepts, or data of others without referring to the original source. Besides the obvious infringement on someone else's intellectual property, plagiarism contaminates the scientific literature with redundant information. If a study is plagiarized and presented as a separate, independent study, this could create the impression that a finding is more robust than it really is. Unknowing readers might interpret the plagiarized study as a successful replication, when the two studies are, in fact, one and the same. Of course, plagiarism often takes the form of copying small elements of other people's work, not entire studies. This is still a problem because it prevents people from having access to relevant related information in the source document, because this document is not referred to. The large pressure on researchers might be to blame for a relatively new type of plagiarism called self-plagiarism. This might seem like a contradictio in terminus. How can you plagiarize yourself? Well, presenting a substantial scientific contribution that was already published elsewhere as an original contribution contaminates the literature with redundant information, and it makes it harder to gather relevant information if the original source is not referred to. Also, when the original contribution was made with the help of co-authors, self-plagiarism means that these co-authors are not credited for their original work. A conflict of interest is a violation of research integrity that is most frequent in the medical sciences. Researchers are funded, for example, by pharmaceutical companies that have a huge interest in showing, for example, a drug is effective. Whether consciously or unconsciously, researchers can be swayed to present results more favorably. This is in part because it's also in their best interest to show positive results. Conflicts of interest 
cannot always be avoided, but they should at least be explicitly stated in a publication, so readers can judge for themselves what the credibility of a study is. A final outright violation of research integrity is formed by undue influence of personal values. Strong convictions or personal values can blind researchers to their data and valid critiques. If researchers do not adhere to the principle of objectivity and are unwilling to accept critique or discuss plausible counterarguments based on logic and empirical evidence, then the researcher places his research outside the realm of science.